Hey guys and girls, it's Mr. Thunder God here with some Thunder Code. So today we'll be discussing a project that I recently made called Newspaper Sentiment Analysis. As the title suggests, we do sentiment analysis of newspapers, newspaper articles scraped from the Hindu newspaper website, which is actually one of the prominent website, you know, newspapers in India. So what we do is sentiment analysis. I'll explain what sentiment analysis is and how my code works and even give you a demo of my code running and also be explaining how you can actually get the code on your system and maybe modify it or do it from scratch. So sentiment analysis basically is the use of a few technologies like natural language processing, text analysis, etc. to systematically identify, extract, study and uh, you know visualize affective states. Basically what that means in plain English is sentiment analysis can take text data, go through it and understand the emotion or sentiment behind that paragraph. So you will be actually able to understand to a certain degree how positive, negative, neutral that news or that paragraph is by weighing each word inside. Now. Our algorithm isn't too advanced, it is a simple algorithm using a module called text blob and it will be just determining whether our news is positive, negative or neutral. You will see that it isn't accurate all the time. Um, next thing that I want to add is this code is freely available on GitHub under this URL which I will link in the description below. Uh, you can actually go on there, download it, edit it, use it as you want. I'll actually be starting a series on how to make this from scratch soon enough. Now moving on. So what I did here was use Beautiful Soup, which is a web scraping module for Python to scrape the Hindu newspaper website. What scraping is, is basically going onto this website and extracting data from this automatically. So what it does is it goes into news, national, international, a few of the states business and science according to what we want and extract data from it. Extract data as in extract newspaper uh, articles. So if I go on to national news, you will see that there are six different news here in this page one. So what I have designed my code to do is it will scan through the first five pages taking six from each that is like 30 total news uh, articles. It will go into this link first, take the title and the first two paragraphs of each news article and save it. It will go through each of that for the first five pages and save all of them into a particular area. Then afterwards, it can run sentiment analysis on each article and predict what sentiment each article is and it can display it accordingly. So I'll actually show you how, an example of how it works. Now before I go into my example, let me just show you how to actually download it from my site. So go to my uh, GitHub uh, account uh, slash the uh, page which is uh, Mr. Thundergod slash newspaper sentiment analysis. Again links in the description. Go to clone or download and download as a zip. If you know how to use git, you can do a pull request and get it you know, as usual. And just for those who don't use download zip, I already downloaded it so it will appear like this. Open the zipped file, extract it, I am going to extract it to the desktop, yeah it is extracted, it is in the desktop. Now if you look inside, you can actually see a few files. Now, in order to run this code, you actually need Python, obviously. But along with Python, you will actually need two other um, two other uh, modules, which are text blob and BS4 or Beautiful Soup 4. So in order to actually do that, what you need to do is open command window here, command prompt here. And there is a shortcut method to open a command prompt at any location you want. Just go to the address bar and type in cmd, hit enter, it opens up. So if you want to install these prerequisites, what you need to do is pip dash r 
prerequisites.txt and just hit enter. It will automatically run. Oh, I apologize. It's pip install our prerequisites. So yeah, I already installed all of it, so it doesn't need to download it. So if you don't have these installed, it will actually go on to the internet and download it and install it for you. If there is any problem in installing, there are lots of uh, internet articles which actually teach you on how to actually combat all of those. Moving on. Next. So we have two versions of Python here. Um, a Python version 2, main version 2 and main version 1. So what's happening here is I actually made two versions. One version is the final version and the other version is just before that. That's just for the national news. We'll actually just try it out. So in order to run Python, a uh, Python script, you can either open this with Python or type in CMD, type Python space, the name of the file that you want to launch using Python, main.v2.py. Hit enter and it starts running. So let's see. Hello, welcome to Newsreader and Analysis app. Select the following, select from the following categories, national news, international news, state news, science news, business news. So you can select one among all of these. Just enter the number of which news you want. So I'll be giving international news. Hit two. Hello. What do you want to know? So I have three options. One is to see each news, the title and the first paragraph. Second one to analyze each of the news and provides it provide its sentiment value or just see the overall sentiment for international news. So I'll be going through each one of them. I'll first see the news. So I type in enter, wait for the code to run. It will depend upon your internet connectivity and how fast the interpreter actually works. It may take a while. So yeah, so as we can see, it started uh, populating uh, the news. So this is the heading and this is the first paragraph, first two paragraphs of uh, the news and it will keep on going until the end. If you want to stop it in the middle, press control plus C, control and C, it will interrupt the code. Okay. Now I'm going to run it once again. Uh, if you are uh, wondering uh, how I actually got the code again, just uh, press on the up arrow button to get the previous command. I'll run it again. This time I'll be going into national news and I'll be doing a sentiment analysis for each of the news in the national news. So just wait for it. What it does is it just downloads the same news that we downloaded earlier and just go through the paragraph, provide a sentiment value for each paragraph and just say whether it's positive or negative. We'll see whether this is actually accurate or not. Uh, at a glance itself, I can see that a few of them are negative and they aren't actually uh, that accurate yet. Now, let's see. Um, here's one saying, combat fake news against government, says Amit Shah, which is positive, kind of, so it works. India's request for information for fighter jets gets six bits, which is positive, good. Now, let's see if we can find a negative one. Congress never appreciated the appreciated the farming community more in negative. Okay, what happens here is it actually goes through each words and each word has a weightage. So if there is a negative word like can't, won't, denied, death, murder, uh, it'll actually give a negative value and so on. Now I'm going to run it again and I'll show you the third option. This time I'm going to select three state news. So it will ask me which state I want to select. I only included five states, so you can select from one of these states. So I'm going to select uh, three, uh, which is Karnataka, and I'm going to give the a command for overall sentiment. Just wait until uh, the overall sentiment is populated. So the overall sentiment is basically, it just runs the sentiment analysis on all the news and just takes the average value. Let's see what the overall sentiment value for Karnataka right now is. Okay, it's taking a while. Okay, so it's neutral. Average sentiment now is neutral and the value is 0 0.0202. 
so we can actually fine tune this and that will be explained in an, in another video so this is my um, project that i recently did as i explained before if you have any suggestions on how to actually improve this project if you like to see new future features into this i'm actually planning to um, uh, you know add a graphical user interface so that it could be better to you know view and all i also included on how to install the prerequisites which i explained and also how to deploy it how to run it which i've shown you in the command window so thank you for watching this video if you need any help in anything please do let me know in the comment section and have a great day